Hi, we're Lynn and Tony Martins from Caddy Caddy here in New Zealand. Um, so we're all here today to just have a look at our um, cattle that we use the nest, the, the provision animal on. Um, we use it quite extensively when we feel we have a problem and today we are um, scanning a a young bull calf that was born 24 hours ago and it just is not getting accepted by his mum so we just sort of see what's happening and, and treating him for it accordingly. Marvellous. How effective have you found the nest system when you've been treating the new calves? Oh brilliant. They just, they just, uh, if, if, you, if there's an obvious problem, let's say the cow stood on the calf's foot, you treat and it's limping slightly, you treat it immediately and it's just instant. It just accepts the um, the treatment, as we say, they really have no opinion, really. They don't know anything else, so they just take what they're given. Yeah. Brilliant. And do you have any favourite settings for a new new birth of a calf? Well, without scanning the calf, if we scan it, obviously we scan it, but if for, for our argument's sake we don't have our computer with us and just have our, our my health, we just obviously go to the obvious ones, which can be quite often be um, to do with jaw, just with the birth process, lungs, um, sometimes feet, if there's an obvious issue with how they may be laying on in the paddock or, or standing up, because the, the breed is just instant. Once it's born, it's up within a few minutes of drinking. So we allow that process to happen, but if we've arrived, we don't live on the property where they're, they're um, calving, and so we just treat what we see at the time, and then perhaps the following day we'll bring back our um, computer and scan them then. Wonderful. Right, let's treat the calf. Okay. Health, and so we will start the process. The calves are very comfortable anyway, aren't they? Lovely in the sunshine. Lungs, it's bronchial, there's um, nerves, acoustic nerves, and also um, the coccyx, which are all sort of what we expect. And now it hasn't been mothered well at all, have you? That seems to calm him down. Beautiful. Treating the hypothermus.
So how old is this group right in front of us? The eldest would be a month old yesterday and the youngest would be a week old. They're all enjoying the sun, aren't they? There's pedigree in there plus crossbreed. Three quarter cross plus half cross in there. Beautiful. So, tell us about this this situation here. This is a six-year-old. Oh, so she had her fourth calf for us, but she just didn't accept it. She just something went wrong with her. So she had it. We saw her have it. It wasn't hard for her, and then she just walked. So we're actually um, hand feeding it at home. But we while we're in here after she'd calved, the calf now was or could be nearly three weeks old. I'd come and I'd just treat her hips, just anything that you'd think would, didn't scan her, but we'd just treat her hips with the My Health or, or her, her bag, her breasts, because of course they it filled up with no calf drinking on it, got quite tight. But um, she's other than, I don't know what happened with her, but she's our friendliest one, so I think she just must have got confused on how, the day, perhaps. How does she take to the My Health? Oh, brilliant, she just stands there and loves it, scratches, scratcher. No, she's fine, they're all good with the My Health, as long as they stand still. You know, if they don't mind you standing next to them, it's obviously the ones that aren't used to you standing beside them. Then, if there was a major issue, you'd have to get them home and put them in the shed, you know, and, and do them that way. But if, if they don't mind you, so you know, we sort of a metre away or closer, you know, we just sort of. But some of them don't like them necessarily being that close. Hey, well, she's a big sock. Hmm. Bees are in the orchards either side, the river can mm, the orchards, it's yeah. pollinating time. That's what you can hear the hum. That was just a little fabulous. 